Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you sort of a comparison video on one of my all-time favorite wigs, and that is Raquel Welch's Editor's Pick. Now, I've had my Editor's Pick for a number of years, and most recently I was gifted from a good friend of mine a Editor's Pick Elite. It was a birthday present, and I was like, over the moon and I was like so totally shocked and so totally surprised I couldn't I couldn't believe it anyways I love my editor's pick and the editor's pick that I have both of them are in the color shaded cappuccino on my head I have Raquel Welch's flirt alert in shaded bisque now or is it shaded biscuit it's one of those two shaded biscuit I think um, I love Flirt Alert. I have Flirt Alert in a different color as well, but I bought this from a wig sister. It was used, gently used. I bought it because I have been wanting for the longest time to try this color. So I've had this probably for about maybe even a year now. I don't wear it in real life because it is way too light. I think I've worn it maybe on two or three videos. My husband hates it, but I kind of like it. So when I feel like just being kind of, you know, sassy a little bit, you know, put this on type of thing. So I really like this color. It just, I agree, it isn't me. If I walked into work like this, everyone would be like, what happened to her? <laughs> She's off her rocker or something. But anyways, I have two editor's pick. I'm going to hold them up so that you can see them. And both of them are in the color shaded cappuccino. I mean, they're pretty darn close. You, how, how would you even know which was which by looking at it? Would you? I know I wouldn't. So I don't even know right now which is which. I'm going to take this one off the, the head and see which one this is. And this happens to be the Elite. Editor's Pick Elite. I'm going to show you the cap difference so you can see. This is the only way I would really know, right, is... By having the cap. You can see it's beautiful hand tied cap, beautiful monofilament, lace front. I think that Raquel Welch's lace fronts are absolutely exquisite. So I love, love this wig. I have worn this a number of times. I oftentimes will wear this and pin it up. Now I'm going to show you my original editor's pick. Take it off the other mannequin. Even though this is old, this has held up remarkably well. I Granted, I don't wear my wigs every day. More often than not, in, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm wearing a topper, or I have a fake bun on my head, or something like that. And every now and then, I'll put a wig on, special occasions. But I have always, always loved Raquel Welch's lace front. I just think that they are the best. So this is my original editor's pick. You can see the lace front, you can see the monofilament. It does have permatease. A lot of people have complained various points in time about Raquel Welch having more higher density fibers and a lot of fibers and having permatease. I find the permatease, I like permatease a lot. And I wish I could find that perfect pairing where you have a little bit of parmatease and lower density fibers. Because I think for me anyways, that would be less of a giveaway for me to go one day with my bio hair and then the next day with the wig, everyone obviously knows. So I wear this one an awful lot. I really like it. Interesting between the two, interesting between the two is a slight difference, at least on the dimensions that I have seen. I haven't measured any of this myself, but a slight difference in the size. Editor's Pick, the original one, has uh, the front bangs about four and a half, which for me is the perfect, perfect length. The crown says it's ten and a fourth, ten and a quarter, I'm sorry. The sides are nine and a quarter. The back is nine and a quarter, and the nape is six and a quarter, and the weight is 3.25 ounces in the original. Now, of course, the original doesn't have the hand-tied cap, so it is going to be lighter, and it's got the nape. It really is pretty. I love this wig. Now, when I look at the new one, the Elite, which significantly 
um, has a significant price price has a significant price increase obviously because it has the hand tied cap so the elite features a lot of the same things as the original it does have that temple to temple sheer lace front and then it does have a monofilament top but this one has the hand tied and the hand tied base is really it's 100% hand tied I think there's less permities in this but I also believe that there's a lot of volume a lot of volume in this and this is interestingly enough shorter than the tr the regular one the crown here is 10 the sides are 8 the back is 9 at least from what I could see and the nape is six and a half. compare it again to the crown of 10 and a quarter sides nine and a quarter and the back nine and a quarter so the crown and the sides the sides have the most significant difference being shorter in the elite and longer in the traditional one so the elite is heavier as well it's 3.75 ounces where the traditional is 3.25 however let me take this one off i know i look scary however when you put this on I think it works perfectly. I'm just going to slip it on. Yeah, I mean, it just, I just slipped this on. I, I, um, I don't know what the back is, looks like. I, I just know that I could slip this on and really not worry, even though it has all this hair. <laughs> I love this. I love, love, love editor's pick. So editor's pick to me, the elite is fabulous even though it's heavier we're going to probably be going camping i'm going to bring two wigs with me and editor's pick is going to be one of them just in case jay and i go out somewhere special we go to dinner somewhere and i might want to be really in pretty hair so i'll probably bring this one and this one again this is flirt alert and shaded biscuit we'll have to double check that I like this one too again this is old but I love it and my original editor's pick oh my gosh editor's pick is the first wig I fell in love with and I said I've got to have that I've got to have it and I was thrilled when I got my my first one and I was thrilled when I got this one as a gift so anyways if you are on the fence if you're really curious and you love editor's pick if you see it on sale don't be afraid of the volume of hair you know you can always thin a wig if you really want to. I've not done anything. I've not thinned. I've not cut. These again have the bangs. They're over what four, four and a quarter. I love that. That's the perfect bang length for me. If the bang is shorter than that, it's hard for me because I have a long from hairline to chin is nine inches and around my circumference is 22 inches. So I have a long face and I have a broad face. So if you have a shorter face and you have a thinner face, these will look longer on you than they do on me because mine's broader. So it brings it out more and holds it up. It's really good to measure your dimensions so you know how something will look in you. But editor's picks got to be hands down. True favorite. And you can catch these on sale. I, I um, you know, or someone selling one privately if you feel really comfortable with whoever it is but you can catch these on sale or on clearance i know wig studio one often has um really awesome things on clearance including these kinds of wigs so raquel welch editor's pick elite shaded cappuccino editor's pick traditional the original i should say shaded cappuccino a slight difference this one is shorter this one is a little bit longer not all that much this one is lighter and this one is heavier but it has that hand tied base so you have a hundred percent hand tied base it is going to be heavier it feels super comfortable on me this cap size is average you can cinch it in or out if you want my my uh, 22 inch circumference this fits perfect on it if I go out, I don't have to worry about the wind blowing. I don't have to worry about wefts showing. And if I want to pin this up, I most certainly can do it. Now I'm going to do a spin, even though I have no idea what the back looks like. And I'm going to enclose some shots from the outside just so you can see it in the natural light. I love, love, love this way. 
Thank you so much for joining me, and stay tuned for the natural shots, and I will see you in my next video.